Well, in local political news, a longtime Minnesota state senator is leaving the legislature to run for Congress. Senator Terry Bonoff announced yesterday she will challenge Representative Eric Paulson in the 3rd Congressional District. The district spans uh, includes Brooklyn Park, Minnetonka, Eden Prairie, and Bloomington. Paulson has easily won past re-election bids, but the district has also voted for Barack Obama twice, as well as Senator Amy Klobuchar. Political analyst Larry Jacobs. This is a big deal. The DFL want to make Eric Paulson a casualty of Donald Trump and the civil war in the Republican Party. And GOP Congressman Paulson's campaign issued this statement about Senator Bonoff, who ran for the seat back in 2008. Quote, Terry Bonoff is a failed congressional candidate, retread, back for another try. Bonoff's record will be a heavy, heavy weight around her campaign again. Joining us right now, Senator Terry Vano. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Esme. I right. want to ask you immediately about that statement from Congressman Paulson's campaign. It went on to say that uh, you have raised income, gas, and sales taxes on Minnesota families and rewarded yourself with a fat 35% pay raise. That's a direct quote. What is your response, Senator? My response, Esme, is this is exactly why I'm running. I am so tired of the divisive rhetoric that we're hearing from President uh, president, presidential candidates, uh, both Trump and Cruz, and to have our own congressman begin our campaign in that way is really very disappointing. So uh, with regard to the substance, uh, I think that to bring up a, a congressional endorsement race, let's talk about that. You know, my politics have been very independent. I stand up for what I believe. I'm known for being one of the most nonpartisan uh, members in the legislature and I often vote against my party so that's tough in an endorsement fight and I think because of that I didn't win that endorsement I'm excited to be running in this race and I believe that our even the Republicans in Minnesota have shown that they reject the Trump and Cruz style of governance and I'm surprised that Eric Paulson is not also standing with them all right let me ask you about Eric Paulson he has not endorsed any candidate right now. He had endorsed Marco Rubio. Is it fair to paint him with the same broad brush stroke and say this is really about Trump and Paulson, they're standing together because they're both Republicans, or Trump and Cruz if he happens to be the nominee? You know, I think what's fair to say is that I've actually heard Eric Paulson say that he'll vote for the eventual nominee. And I think that Eric Paulson, after all the time he spent in Washington, ought to be a leader. Eric Paulson ought to put his foot down and say, I reject this. I reject candidates who talk about building walls. I reject candidates who allow the kind of violence that has gone on at political rallies. I think that Eric Paulson needs to defend his silence on too many issues. All right. And I, I talked to the ca uh, Paulson campaign yesterday. They actually feel that was a bit of a misquote. With, uh, they say, Congressman Paulson said, is that he will likely support the eventual nominee. <laughs> but, but I, w I would not parse that particular statement. Uh, they did. I just wanted yeah, to raise thanks. that point. Yeah. Um, in terms of, of Eric Paulson, though, this is somebody who has made an attempt to reach across the aisle. It's one of the things that he has tried to pride himself on. His voting record, though, basically strictly down the line conservative. Is that something that you feel is not in fitting and not in keeping with your, your district? Well, first of all, Eric Paulson really helped deliver the medical device repeal and that tax. And I thought that was great. And so I, I commend that. But then on issues where, you know, our district uh, does believe that all people have equal rights and they've strongly rejected the marriage amendment, you know, Eric Paulson is not with him on that. So I think that, frankly, while he and I may be in the same place on fiscal issues, and by the way, when uh, Governor Dayton talked about his tax plan, I publicly said I reject that. We do not need divisive tax proposals that divide people based on income, and I voted against that tax bill. And when there was a, a bill to raise uh, the legislature's per diem, I voted for it for those who needed that because we've actually lost members of the legislature because of the low pay, and yet I didn't take it. I currently take one of the least amounts of per diem in the state legislature. And so I think I've proven that I'm actually a fiscal conservative, but my votes when it comes to the issues around uh, personal freedom and around really that government doesn't have a right to tell people uh, what they should do with regard to their personal lives, that my votes in 
that arena are much more consistent with the people in the third district. And I think it's time that we hear from Congressman Paulson where he does stand on those issues. All right. Well, Senator Terry Bonner, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Obviously, we're going to be hearing a lot more about this congressional race. Thank you very right. much. Thank you so much.